Due to its capacity to split and process terabytes of data, MapReduce, which was first used by Google to analyze its search results, has gained huge popularity nowadays. The fundamental piece of information used in MapReduce model is a key value pair. All kinds of data, both structured and unstructured, must be converted into this fundamental unit before being fed into the MapReduce data model. The map function and the reduce function are the two separate processes that make up the MapReduce model, as the name suggests. MongoDB's MapReduce is the subset of aggregation pipeline method. On that note, hey everyone, welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. In today's session, we'll be learning about MapReduce model in MongoDB and see what exactly uh, MapReduce does in a MongoDB database and how it is different from aggregation pipeline method and which one you should be using while handling huge amounts of data in a MongoDB database. I hope my audio is fine and the screen is also clearly visible. If you guys are facing any issues, let us know in the uh, chat section below and we'll try to resolve it as soon as possible. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. Firstly, let us understand what is MongoDB MapReduce. MapReduce function is widely used to access large data set into a handful of aggregated results. And MapReduce command is used to execute this function. Now as a result of this, the data is independently mapped and reduced in different spaces before being combined in the function and saved to the specified new collection. This MapReduce function was designed to work with large data sets only. You can perform aggregation operations like max, uh, sum and average on data using MapReduce, which is similar to that of group by in SQL. So it works independently and in parallel with data aggregation. Now let us understand what are the key parameters in MapReduce. MongoDB provides a MapReduce feature for aggregation purpose. Now generally there are two phases of MapReduce. In the first phase, each document is processed and emits common and redundant part of the document to pass a unique record for the next phase, which is the map function. Next we have the reduce function. In the second phase, all the unique parts get together and aggregate to produce a single result. And finally we have the query. In this, we'll pass the query to filter the result set. So with the help of MapReduce, user can perform like sorting, filtering and document modification. So let us now understand the syntax of MapReduce. The syntax is followed as db.collection.mapreduce and within the parenthesis mention the keyword function and again open the square uh, flower brackets and mention the keyword emit and as we already discussed that MapReduce works on the key value pair so mention the key as well as the value that you want to uh, you know perform aggregation on the data and then we have function again we have to mention the uh, key and values this is basically the reduce operation this is the reduce function we are going to perform here and then mention the return keyword and the reduce function that you are going to perform it can be you know any aggregation uh, you know uh, process and it can be average sum or maximum and inside that we have uh, certain keywords like out query sort and limit so basically if i look if you look at the first part here the collection name it is basically defined as the retrieve documents from the collection by using the map reduce command so we can process large volumes of data using this map reduce method in mongodb so next we have the map reduce keyword it is basically a data processing technique which is used for large data and useful aggregated results of large data in mongodb and next we have uh, the, this first part is the map function guys and next we have the reduce function in this you will get a clear cut idea on when we get to the execution part so just uh, have an idea on what uh, exactly we are doing here so next we have the out keyword here out is basically uh, specifies the, the that result location of the map reduce operation in mongodb and we can set output as a primary member and on the secondary member we can only set an you know output for this next we have query query defines the as the selection of selection criteria of a document in mongodb so you are basically telling uh, the uh, you know operation basically on the you are filtering the data on which you want to perform aggregation 
and next we have an optional uh, you know commands like sort and limit as you know sort is used to sort the documents from collection this option is mainly useful for optimization and also next we have limit limit is a specified method that limits the total number of documents in the resultant output so i hope you understood the uh, basic syntax of uh, map reduce model so let us now go ahead and understand how does mongodb map reduce works now every input document in the map reduce operation gets the map face treatment from mongodb that is documents in the collection that match the query condition so key value pairs are output by the mapping function now this map function is used to group all the data based on the key value and next we have the reduce function reduce function is used to perform operations on the map data so the data independently is mapped and reduced in different spaces and then combined together in the function and the result will save to the specified new collection so the reduce phase which gathers and condenses the aggregated data is used by mongodb for keys that have multiple values and the outcomes are then kept by mongodb in a collection so in a nutshell if i have to tell that basically you have to mention the mapping function first you have to define mapping function next you have to define the reduce function to further condense or process the aggregation result now the output of the reduction reduce function could op optionally go through a finalized uh, you know function wherein you are performing the complete you know map reduce function so let us just understand this with a simple example here so let's say i have a uh, certain collections uh, named as orders as you can see on the left side we have four different orders having customer id amount status so we have uh, let's say i think we have two different uh, unique customer ids which is a123 and b212 now i'm basically querying this based on the status that is a and d right so it is querying and it is filtering the records based on this so you can see a123 amount 500 status a next we have again which is a123 amount 250 which is status a again and we also have a123 but the status is d so it is not considering into the into our resultant equation and also we have this b212 which amounts 200 and the status is a so the query is basically filtering the resultant set in our output next we are basically mapping the function we are mapping based on the customer id here so we have two different uh, customer ids which is a123 and b212 so we are and then we are performing the reduce function based on the amount right so it is reducing the value into uh, a123 and b212 two values that is 500 and 250 for b212 it's only 200 so finally if we look at the output we are performing a sum aggregation here and you can see in the final resultant output our uh, you know uh, document which we have uh, saved in a new collection is being retrieved as id a123 value is 750 that is 500 plus 250 and also b212 which is value 200 which are which we are saving in a new collection named order totals so this is how exactly map reduce works which is again a uh, similar to that of aggregation you know pipeline method uh, i'll let you know what exactly uh, you know how map reduce is different from aggregation pipeline and when you should be using which method now before going to uh, into that let us go into the execution part and see how uh, map reduce works in mongodb shell so as you can see mongodb shell has started so firstly uh, let us uh, see the databases for that I am using the show dbs command so again we will be using the same uh, simply code database so use simply code 1 and let us now see what are the collections present in this database so it will list all the uh, different collections present in this uh, I mean documents that are present in this collection so we will be using a uh, marks uh, uh, you know collection uh, for this uh, to perform map reduce so let me just uh, retrieve the values that are present in this so db.marks.find all right when you press the enter it will retrieve all the records so as you can see we have uh, various fields like id name subject and marks so we have like id 101 name ravi maths 94 and similarly we have different subjects like science history maths uh, english and so on so we'll be performing map reduce on this collection and see how it how it exactly performs. 
Now what we are going to do is we have to apply a map reduce operation to this marks collection to group them by uh, let's say subject and then add the marks scored in each subject. So to process this each input document we have to define the map function first. This map function basically refers to the document that the map reduce operation is processing in that function. And for each document the function maps the marks field to the subject and outputs the marks and the both subject and marks together so let's understand how to uh, write the how to define uh, the map function first and the query is written as where and mention any keyword here it can be map here or you can even uh, keep it as mapping function mapping function one you can define as per your own choice equals to mention the function keyword close the uh, square brackets open the square uh, flower brackets and mention the keyword emit and in that we have to write the function which is used with this dot so we are performing aggregation on subject and marks right so we have to mention these two parameters here so mention subject comma this dot marks close the square brackets flower brackets and mention the semicolon and press enter all right we have now defined the mapping fun function first so next we have to uh, define the reduce function so the reduce function uh, syntax is also similar mention var again mention uh, the uh, param i mean the function name as per your own choice i'm just taking here it as reduce equals to mention the function keyword again and you have to pass two parameters here since you have uh, passed subject and marks for uh, our uh, you know aggregation function so just pass any two values it can be of any name it can you can take it as key and value or you can even use subject or marks so i'm just using the subject and marks again here subject comma marks and mention the uh, open the flower brackets and you have to return this parameter right you have to return this function now i want to perform let's say uh, the aggregation operation like let's say sum so i'll write array dot since it is a, a document and we have various fields i'm just writing the array here array dot sum and inside that mention the parameter which you are performing uh, the summation which is basically marks right so just close the brackets and close the flower brackets as well and enter all right now we have also uh, defined the reduce function now we are left with uh, only map reduce uh, operation right so let us now perform the map reduce operation so the syntax for that is db dot mention the collection name that is marks which we have taken mention the map reduce keyword make sure that r in reduce is in capital letters otherwise it will throw an error and in that pass the uh, both mapping and reduce function names that you have taken so we have taken it as map comma reduce so it can be any name that you have chosen it can be like mapping function one or as i said earlier it can be any name but make sure you're passing the same value that you have taken and mention the comma again and in the flower brackets now we have to mention the keyword out as we discussed in our syntax previously and now we can give any uh, you know collection name you know to your output uh, resultant set it can be of any uh, choice so i'm just uh, naming it as the result here I think it will be good to go. So let me just execute the statement. All right. Uh, it is throwing an error. Collection dot map it is just deprecated user aggregation instead. Okay, I'm not sure uh, why it is uh, showing that, but we can see result. It is saying okay one. That means it has been successfully executed. So let us now and uh, see whether it's whether or not the aggregation function that is summation has been performed or data set or not so for that i'm again using the find command uh, db dot mention the uh, collection name that you have mentioned in, inside the parameter and map reduce operation db dot result dot find enter uh, as you can see we have total four subjects and the summation values are showing as 93 96 i'm not sure why uh, it should perform the summation operation so let's just check for history we have 93 and for history again 96 all right so it is showing simultaneously i mean side by side uh, it shouldn't be like that i'm not sure why it is uh, showing in this way so 
Oh, let's just uh, try to perform another operation and see whether it is showing for them as well. I'm just performing an average, uh, you know, operation here. All right. Let me just check. Okay, we have that passed out. And uh, let me just uh, perform the map reduce function as well. Just copy paste this and you can just change the name as result one. Okay. And click enter. I think it's created. So let us find again db dot, uh, which is again result one dot find. Uh, well, I think uh, there is some issue with the backend of the MongoDB database. I'm not sure why it is uh, throwing an error like this because average value should be like uh, this average of 40, let's say 93 and 96, right? 49 and 47. It's showing in a different way. For maths, it's 98, so it's average, it's 49, and for uh, 94, it's 47. And the combined value we have to get, but I'm not sure why it is uh, throwing that error so we'll get back to you guys uh but the syntax and the execution is uh the same you i think there is no mistake in the uh syntax that you have written here it is same there might be some issue with the backend so we'll just get back to you uh again so stay tuned for that and well i think that's all about map reduce we have discussed almost everything uh you know what map reduces its syntax how it works and how uh you know how it is used you know instead of aggregation and that brings us to the main question on you know which method you have to be using whether it's aggregation pipeline method or it is map reduce you know function now complex queries are difficult to handle in aggregation framework it can be useful but i would say it is not recommended for complex queries whereas if you take small data sets small data sets will take a long time to load in map reduce and even large data sets will take the same amount of time to process. Now, whether or not the data set is small or large, it will take the same amount of time to execute. So as a result, large data sets should be handled using the map reduce functions always and it is a recommended option. The map reduce function can handle, you know, large data sets more quickly due to its, uh, maybe it's, its flexibility over, you know, large data sets. So you can always use this uh, while you're, you know, handling large, uh, volumes of data and on the other side you can use the aggregation pipeline to handle small uh, data sets you know for a uh, regular usage when you're performing small calculations that is present in your you know uh, documents that is present in your collections i would say so this is how uh, both aggregation and map reduce are different from each other and when you have to use them and i hope you understood that as well and with that we have come to the end of today's session guys Thank you for watching the video. If you found this tutorial informative and helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Stay tuned to the channel for more such amazing content and if you want to learn more about MongoDB concepts, we have a dedicated playlist where you have covered uh, the basics of MongoDB from the scratch uh, so make sure you check that out. We'll see you in the next video. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.